Welcome everybody, my name is Michael and today we're discussing about Ethereum hitting $2,500. Currently it's at $2,470 with a market cap almost $286 billion, it's number two, and it did hit an all-time high peak of $2,490, only $10 away from a new all-time high of $2,500, which everyone has been waiting for quite a while. Everyone was super excited when we breached past $22,000, $2,100, 2400 and here we are about to hit $2,500 while Bitcoin's above $63,000. So Bitcoin kind of settled down a little bit. We almost hit $65,000. It was at 64,800 and currently we're at 63,300. So Ethereum's really going up over the past 24 hours. And why is that? That's because today is the 15th, halfway through the month. And Berlin, Berlin upgrade is underway. And this is a huge update because it's going to address Ethereum gas fees. There is sky high Ethereum costs for transactions, for withdrawals, for using the network of course miners must be rewarded and their reward is collecting gas fees but sometimes it doesn't make sense to burn an nft send an nft purchase a different token if you're investing in DeFi, and it's a hundred dollar value and suddenly you're paying 150 dollars where that extra 50 dollars come from from gas fees we've seen them as high as a hundred dollars before people have been really blowing through a lot of money on DeFi, and sure millionaires may not care for a one million dollar transaction the difference between twenty dollars and fifty dollars may not be that great but when you're talking about going negative not talking about even any profit but losing money on a trade just because of the sky high gas fees or even better you're not able to withdraw your money your money is locked because you have too little in a certain wallet in an exchange to be able to withdraw it and you need money for the gas fees it, it just doesn't make sense at all because suddenly you're withdrawing zero or even a dollar after paying fifty dollars in sky high ethereum gas fees which you're able to check through ethereum gas station usually on the weekends they're a little bit lower and that's because uh, when you go into the weekend there's less people who care about cryptocurrency i guess and also i notice when americans are sleeping in Europe, it's a normal day on Saturday, and usually Sunday is the best. So if you're living in America, it's early morning Sunday. If you're in Europe, it's normal day, you know, after the noon that you get some of the best fees. But still, it's very overpriced, and everyone has been waiting for this. So looking at 2021 Ethereum, core developers have incorporated four Ethereum improvement proposals into the Berlin hard fork. And that took place when the network hit block number 12,244,000, and it should bring transaction fees down a little bit, if only slightly, but it's still an improvement. And I definitely think that Ethereum's developers are trying to reduce fees because obviously if we're going to hit $10,000 Ethereum in the future, probably not this time around, but as cryptocurrencies continue to go up, Records are broken every single time Bitcoin and Ethereum continues to rise above and there are alternatives altcoins such as XRP and Litecoin one of the largest although both of them in the top 10 15 I though Litecoin has been doing a little bit worse as of late but still millionaires have been able to send hundreds of millions of dollars while paying very little fees and is still fast and Bitcoin is a little bit slow so people look to Ethereum but then they see these gas fees which sometimes are worse than Bitcoin's fees this is a very necessary update and that's why there's a lot of excitement around this so why is it named Berlin it's named after the host city of the inaugural DevCon convention it's a network upgrade that makes changes to the Ethereum software so anyone who's running currently an Ethereum node or is mining ethereum tokens you will need to update your software client accordingly so the berlin upgrade will incorporate four ethereum improvement proposals eips made by users and integrated into the blockchain's code by core developers these include eip 2565 it's going to reduce some gas costs algorithmically and eip 2718 which is wrapper allowing multiple transaction types on the blockchain so if we go to ethereum's twitter they posted get ready the Berlin network upgrade is coming soon. It's already happened. See the post below to learn more. So I will have the link down in the description below. If you'd like to take a look, it's on their blog, blog.ethereum.org.
Tim Bico, an Ethereum core developer, stated in terms of EIP-2565, it means that the specific pre-compile, which is affected by 2565, will be relatively cheaper gas-wise to execute. But if that's not the main source of demand for transaction fees, it's not, then it won't affect the overall gas prices. Gas costs refer to how much gas it costs to execute a smart contract on the network, whereas gas prices, said Bico, refer to how much Ethereum you're willing to pay per unit of gas. Transaction fees are a product of the two and looking at two other eips that are going to be included 2929 actually increases gas costs in order to limit processing times and help block denial of service attacks so ddos you know hackers people trying to maliciously hmm, attack the service it's a rather shame that because of them gas costs might go up but it is what it is it's a temporary solution a band-aid on the problem However, these increases are partially balanced out by EIP-2930, a proposal that also helps reduce the risk of broken smart contracts. What's not included in Berlin is EIP-1559. It's a very controversial proposal that has been very popular as of late. It will reduce the overall supply of Ethereum. And some people say that Ethereum is a little bit risky to invest into because it's constantly growing. The supply is growing. And at the moment, miners have some control of network fees, but they're predominantly established by supply and demand. And once AIP 1559 is would be incorporated into the blockchain software, the fees would be set by the network and then they would be burned. So miners will continue to receive blocks, but they're going to be freshly minted Ethereum. And several mining pools are too happy about the change. It could eat into their profits, but if it's supposed to help out the community in general, you know, miners are important because without them, we wouldn't have this network. But then again, they can't get too rich because we're also supposed to look at the community and the investors, people who are, who are hodling on and using this. It's not just supposed to be a speculative asset. You're supposed to be able to use it for its utility, and that kind of gets decreased because miners want to have higher profits, and you're not able to use it on whatever projects unless you're very rich. So until uh, July, until summertime, EIP 1559 won't be addressed, and that's going to be during London's hard fork. Uh, if everything's going to be okay, I guess it will go forward, but uh, that is still debatable, so we'll see about that. On February 23rd of this year, average transaction fees went above $38, and uh, that was average. So you're going to see some people all over the place, some people as high as $5,100, some people much below that. If you have advanced settings in a particular wallet that you're using, sometimes you're able to decrease these fees, but... You must be very careful because uh, one time I, I played around with it too much and I decreased it way too low and then your fee. Yeah, no miner wants to deal with that. Your transaction doesn't go through. You're going to have to cancel that transaction. You're going to have to spend more gas. You're going to have to send it again. And there we go, three times the gas just because you wanted to save a little bit in the first place. There are ways around to hopefully speed up that stuck transaction, but once it's stuck... Most times you just have to redo that transaction, which is not fun because if you have multiple transactions that you have to go back through every single one. So definitely be patient. Whenever you look at uh, fees increasing or decreasing, it's a good thing and a bad thing. On one hand, it indicates that developers are building atop the network and people are interested in dApps, uh, decentralized applications, and people want to get more projects out of theory. But on the other hand, since fees are increasing for every transaction from bidding on NFTs, selling NFTs, burning NFTs, everything related with that, to sending funds, withdrawing funds, it must be timed with lower congestion because, uh, like I said, on weekends, you know, it's usually a little bit better. So if you're able to get better transaction fees, you're going to wait. There's, you know, if you're supposed to purchase something regardless, if it's not a time sensitive issue, if you're able to wait a few days, that's what I do. That's what I like to hopefully do. I sometimes reduce the fees a little bit, but you know, if it's, if it's too much, I'm not going to withdraw. There's certain times that I just left my money in there and I waited for more to flow in because it just didn't make sense. And that's not really a good thing because when you multiply that situation by a million, if there's millions of people waiting, it's not that great. Ethereum 2.0, it's the POS proof of stake network that's in development currently. Well, that should solve the gas fee problems altogether, but it's... Uh, 
It would just still take a little bit. It's very complicated. It should solve it by using shard change, which is going to be a little bit of a different technology. It's going to be working like side streets. It's going to remove congestion because it's going to make the network faster. By extension, fees should decrease as infrastructure supply increases as well now berlin is not going to be a crazy drastic update it's big it's hyped up but it's not going to change ethereum all that much it's going to be a tiny bit of an improvement but it's a good start and i think uh hopefully within the next year we're able to reduce fees without the price of ethereum falling because right now here two options are waiting for the price to fall because as the prices fall, you, the congestion kind of clears up a little bit because less people really want to purchase and sure the initial wave everybody's selling but that everyone's just kind of stuck in for the ride. So then it's good to send a transaction or to wait for a specific day where, you know, if it's a holiday, if people are celebrating and they're away from the computer, then you're able to go ahead with it. But that's today's video. We've discussed about Ethereum. Hopefully it hits 2,500 after this video is uploaded. Uh, if you enjoyed, hit that subscribe button. Please leave a like, comment, and share. And we shall see you guys as always. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. See you tomorrow. Bye.